next topic we're going to be talking about is Marcellus Wiley. And this article uh, where I'm about to read comes from the good folks at the New York Post. All right. So let's begin. Okay. Former NFL star, ex ESPN analyst Marcellus Wiley is accused of great following, uh, graping a fellow Colombian student back in 1994. Holy, correct. Former NFL defensive end, ex Fox Sports commentator, as well as ESPN commentator Marcellus Wiley was accused Tuesday of great of a Colombian university student during his time when he was in school 29 years ago. According to the lawsuit viewed by the Post, the victim, uh, uh, whose uh, name we, we don't know, filed the lawsuit in New York City Supreme Court, accusing Marcellus Wiley, who is 48, of a of attacking her in the fall of 1994 when he was a sophomore, a star ring back for the Colombian Lions. Okay, Wiley alleged, uh, the allegation is Wiley uh, alleged forced himself on her uh, in a freshman dorm room uh, recently. Uh, okay, uh, annoying, uh, you know, basically not caring about her verbal uh, objections and robbed her of her virginity and attack that uh, later drive the victim to a attempted deletion. Okay, we'll just say that. While Stella's actions were inappropriate and the plaintiff uh, had severe emotional distress or was taken and or were taken with reckless and significant uh, call, uh, uh, you know, issues, the, uh, the plaintiff said, of emotional distress, the lawsuit states. Uh, the non, uh, the, okay, the Ivory League professor claimed she and Wiley were friends when he invited her into his uh, living quarters telling her he wanted to listen to music and eat dinner. Holy, that's that's not a good look, okay? The plaintiff set uh, a clear boundary with the 250-pound football star, telling him she was a virgin and she was not interested in having X with Wally. Ain't nobody trying to have X uh, with no virgin. Don't worry. I got you. Just come just coming to hang out for a while while I eat. I don't even uh, I don't even have condoms on me. Wiley allegedly told her while laughing. Wiley, however, um, immediately ripped off the freshman's uh, man. Okay, I'm not laughing at the victim, and I'm not laughing at Marcellus Wiley. I'm just reading these uh these inserts and it's just it just sounds like a bad movie but it, i'm pretty sure it's something that she has to deal with for the rest of her life okay uh let's okay wiley however immediately ripped off the freshman girl's clothes forced her face down into the mattress the document states okay the victim said she could barely breathe Fear for her, fear for her life. Wiley raped her multiple times. She managed to escape, scrambled to find her clothes. Nearly, uh, well, f uh, fleeing the room naked, but verbally threatened and physically yanked back into the bed by Wiley uh, for another round of SA, according to the suit. After confirming uh, a, a friend over the attack. The victim reported the great uh, a series uh, uh, to a series of Colombian University administration uh, administrators who all were accused of all of who were accused of displaying a foul a foulness for Wiley and dismissing the the assault in attempt to uh, uh, you know. 
the, not damaging Marcellus Wiley's football career, particularly in the National Football League. Okay, one of the administrators allegedly showed the victim statement to Wiley, who just disagreed that that it was great. The uh, resident Dean, uh, I can't pronounce this late, who died in 2011, allegedly accused the victim of misinterpretation the terrifying encounter because she was born in an African island of uh, Carbo, a uh, Carbo, uh, I can't pronounce this dude's name, then told the plaintiff that um, the defendant had not actually been graped because the plaintiff was not from America. Man, this, this is wild, man. And, and had therefore uh, misinterpreted the defendant's uh, conduct because people from different cultures interpret uh, interpret interpret things differently. The lawsuit states, "Okay, rather being expelled, Wiley was placed on academic probation and was ordered to complete a spring 1995 session from his home in Los Angeles. He was." Uh, permitted to return uh, back on the field, eventually becoming the Lions captain, uh, leading the team to one of his best seasons in decades. The victim and the friend who accounted, who had the encounter, her to the report of SA, received a series of harassing phone calls months after uh, the punishment was handed down, she claimed. OK, um, the following spring, while on a, a mandatory leave, the plaintiff attempted uh, deletion. The plaintiff was admitted to be locked in a hospital ward for two weeks before being released, according to documents. When Wiley eventually returned back to campus, the victim was forced to share multiple classes with the alleged attacker who was studying sociology at at the Ivory League University. She became active in the Colombian chapter of Take Back the Night, an organization aimed to end SA relationship, domestic violence, when she met with other women who also uh, herald these uh, stories of rape at Wiley's hands, both before and, and after her own assault. Um, okay, hold up. One, one woman claims she reported her rape to, I mean, oh, excuse me, I shouldn't say that, great, to the school athletic a director who allegedly decided to keep the accusation under wrap until Wiley played a game against uh, Princeton. Wiley went to join the Buffalo Bills uh, in the NFL. He played 10 seasons. And his final season was 2006. He worked uh, for ESPN NFL Live. Okay, so uh, that's enough on that. I mean, okay, so they're, they're talking. Okay, so they're, they're pretty much talking about this man's uh, bio, which you know, to me, that's that's kind of spooky. I mean, this man is being accused of rape, and the only thing that they're talking about right now is this man's um, academic career, um, social. He's trying to uh, get a degree in sociology and in the NFL and all this stuff. Okay, yada yada yada. Okay, so, um, so uh, after reading that, uh, I watch Marcellus Wiley's video on YouTube. Marcellus Wiley is no longer working for ESPN. Uh, he's no longer working for Fox Sports 1. He's independent. Um, he's uh, He has his own media company uh, he, and created a YouTube channel. And he responded to these accusations. And he pretty much was dancing around the subject. Okay. Uh, he didn't have no evidence. He didn't have no witnesses. He was just telling his side of the story. Now, before we begin, I have to put a disclaimer out there. 
we're not this is a a judgment free live stream everyone is presumed innocent until proven guilty not saying marcellus wiley is innocent not saying marcellus wiley is guilty not saying this lady is lying not saying this lady is guilty but um you know, we just we're, we're just talking about the article and the story. All right. So Marcellus Wiley told his side of the story and he was pretty much dancing around the subject, you know, making, you know, like one of the things that I found. And I like Marcellus Wiley. I, I, I really do like Marcellus Wiley. Uh, I, I, you know, before this incident, I thought Marcellus Wiley was a real one. OK, that he's you know, real to the core, all right? Someone that you can trust uh, and believe, all right? But after this incident, the, it kind of left me uh, with more questions and answers about Marcellus Wiley. So one of the things he said was, if this actually happened, then why she still remained at Columbia, uh, Columbia University? If the... Uh, if if the, the university did not protect her, if this was really... Uh, S.A. or great, and she feels like she's being betrayed by the university, then why she continued to get her degree and she still um, and she still works for the university. And I felt like that was, I mean, it, I felt like she was taking shots at her. Now, no matter what you think, she's still a victim. All right. And I felt like that was a shot that was unjustified it's one thing if you got documents if you got receipts showing that hey look all this was consensual uh you know but to just attack this it, it basically came off as an attack all right in my humble opinion and i felt like marcellus wiley should not went that way and two if, if staying on that topic a lot of people a lot of women when they've been great or had SA or domestic violence, you know, you can't go by their actions because a lot of women, you know, this is this is a new experience for a lot of women. And a lot of women handle it differently. Okay. You know, the people think that women when they get great or SA, they should just start crying and go, woe is me. You know, people uh, cover their, women cover their struggles differently. And when somebody assaults them, they they just re respond and react differently. And for that incident, I'm thinking, and look, I'm, I don't know nothing about this lady, uh, but when he said that, well, if the university uh, disrespected you, then why you continue to still work there? Why you continue to get your degree there? You could have just transferred. Okay, he's he's saying all this stuff, and I'm thinking in the back of my mind, she's probably masking this incident like it didn't happen. And when when something. Uh, mentally happens to you, you there's no normal response. Some people just carry on with their day like nothing never happened, and other people just break down. Now, when I read when when you we just read the article, this lady tried multiple times to delete herself. So I don't think Marcellus Wiley should have went down that road. All right, uh, either you're gonna say something to defend yourself or just don't say nothing at all. And I felt like Marcellus Wiley and and um, uh, DJ Envy a couple of months ago went on the radio station, tried to explain the real estate Ponzi scheme. And he was doing more harm than good to himself to the point where Charlemagne the God had to step in and go, yo, DJ, DJ Envy, if I were your rep, if I if I was your lawyer, I would tell you to not talk about this, because you're just digging a, dip, a, a a deeper ditch. And I felt like with that video, that live stream of video, he was digging himself into a digger a, a, a bigger ditch, uh, Marcellus Wiley. So he didn't really um, defend himself. 
if you want to say that he was defending himself and he and it and it came off cavalier like you know it never happened and no apologies and he tried to say that you know she uh, already knew she had a she uh, you know she she had a boyfriend okay i mean what does what does her relationship status has anything to do with this uh, incident okay we guys we all know there have been tons of women who who are married or who've been in relationships male or female if they look good and we want to try to hit it, we're going to try to spit our best game to them, okay? No matter what their relationship status is, all right? So, you know, that whole video was odd to me because Marcellus Wiley really didn't explain himself. He really didn't defend himself. He was basically pointing the finger back at her. And to me, um, it... <laughs> And, and it's the same situation with uh, Jamie Foxx. Once this suit comes out, other women are going to come to the forefront and say, well, that happened to me too with Marcellus Wiley. And if you read the article, it seems like other women had the same type of situation with Marcellus Wiley when he forced himself on him or forced himself on them, all right? So I don't know if Marcellus Wiley did it or didn't do it but i feel like this needs to go to civil court and some things need to be worked out some things need to be explained and to be perfectly honest with you marcellus wiley is in the in a unique situation damn if he do damn if he don't all right if he takes this if he takes this and tries this uh, to court and if he wins people are gonna say oh that's the big fish beating down the little fish all right that's the big people beating down the little people because marcellus wiley got money he can buy the best lawyers money can buy you know you know, the system is set up to where you know uh you know women are always trying to push that sa as a weapon grape as a weapon and, and things of that nature so uh if if, if he wins you're going to start hearing stuff like that if he loses then people are gonna say, "Oh man, this guy tried to try to rape this woman." As I mean, damn if he do, damn if he don't. So this is something that unfortunately he's going to have to go to court and talk about. All right. Um, but we're gonna move on to the next order of business, which is Cuba Gooden Jr. But before we go to that, all right, we got a commercial break. Not another commercial break, definitely another 